Now you can also use the chain rule to get partial derivatives. So say z depends on x and y, x depends on s and t, and y depends on s and t. All those functions are differentiable. Uh, then the partial of z with respect to s is dz dx, dx ds, dz dy, dy ds, and then a similar expression for dz dt. So what's going on there is you've got your variable z here, depends on x and y, and uh, x depends on s and t, and then y depends on s and t. So write your partials on the branches here. So we've got dz dx, and over here dz dy, and then we've got dx ds, and that's a partial, and dx dt, and then again uh, dx ds, or I'm sorry, dy ds, and dy dt. So to get this first chain rule, for example, uh, dx ds. Uh, dz dx dx ds right here plus dz dx dx dt uh, no I'm sorry uh, we want dz ds so that ends at s here and it ends at s there so dz dx dx ds right there uh, dz dy dy ds right there and then if you wanted the t derivative take the branches that end in t, so dz dx dx dt right here, dz dy dy dt right here. So again, everything's from the tree diagram. And then this is just given the rules here that you're going to um, draw your tree diagram. So we can do this for any number of partial derivatives. So let's use our chain rule to find, oh, let's do dz ds. Let's do that first one. So you can write out all the pieces separate if you want to, or you can just compute them as you're plugging into the formula. So uh, dz dx, so we want an x derivative here. So that means that x is the variable, y is a constant. So e to the 3y is a constant, 2 is a constant. You differentiate a constant times x, you just get the constant, 2 e to the 3y. So that is our dz dx, and then we need uh, dx ds, <clears throat> so our x is s squared t, so we want to do the s derivative there, so 2s times t, so 2st, and then we need dz dy, so we need a y derivative here, uh, so 2x is a number, you differentiate e to the 3y, you get e to the 3y times 3, so this will be uh, 2x, and then the derivative e to the 3y is e to the 3y times 3. And then you want dy ds. So you want, uh, here's y in terms of s and t, you want s derivative here. So s derivative of that t cubed is just 0, and s derivative of 3s is 3. And we could do similar for dz dt. And just use these partial derivatives. So, and again, if we wanted to, for our y here and our x and y here, uh, we could plug in x and y in terms of s and t. We could get a um, whole partial derivative here in terms of s and t if we need it. So, again, we could do this. 2e to the 3, and then our y is 3s minus t cubed, and then times 2st, plus, I'm going to go ahead and put that 3 out in front, 6x e to the, oh wait, x, we've got uh, x is uh, s squared t, so 6x, and x is s squared t, and then uh, e to the 3y again, so 3 times 3s minus t cubed. 
So there we've got everything in terms of S and T. So sometimes you'll need to do that. Sometimes you'll be able to leave it like this. So just uh, pay careful attention to the directions.